welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla June. Kale Barb on social media. So, this is going to be a very random Mental Health Monday video. However, I really wanted to update you on what I've been doing. Hopefully, it'll give you some ideas on what you can do at home during self whatever quarantine social distancing life that we have lived now um so that's what this video is about um i'm also hoping that i will get a lot of feedback from you guys and what you guys have been doing and what you're up to but before we get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel and definitely give this video a thumbs up um, of course, follow all my social media handles. If you don't already, I am at Kelbarb for beauty, skincare, videos, photos, tutorials, da -da -da -da. and then I have my at bear underscore self care for mental health content. And my business page, if you are interested in skincare and wellness, that is launching this summer, I hope, and that is at, at June Moon underscore apothecary. Apothecary. Um, I don't even know where to begin because everything that is going on is insane. Um, I know that this is a very difficult time, especially those who have mental health problems, issues, illnesses, however you want to describe it, whichever makes you feel comfortable. Um, I know that, I think I've said this before, when I am not kept busy, I am very, very, very depressed. So the biggest thing that I did and told myself that I was going to do was, whew, like out of breath, um, make sure that I stay occupied and busy. And I see a hair right here and it's like a baby hair and it's like glistening, unless it's the glitter on my eyes. I don't know what's going on. Anywho, um, so with that being said, I have joined TikTok. Um, I never thought I was going to actually join TikTok. Am I good on TikTok? No. I'm 27 years old. I'll be 28 next month. I don't think I really belong on TikTok. But does that stop me? No. Because nothing stops me, my bear. I do what I want. And I will get made fun of along the way, and I don't care. I know that TikTok is very much filled with the younger generation, and I sound so like my grandma. Um, as in teenagers, um, people who are in their younger 20s, I know a lot of my friends who are in their older 20s, like, they laugh all the time, like, what the heck am I doing on TikTok? So, fun fact, I've joined TikTok, and I have that, my little handle, if you're interested in following me, that's in the description. Um, I have taken up painting again which is awesome painting has always since i was a kid been something very therapeutic and luckily my husband was just like buy all the paint the brushes the canvases that you want and you know take the time for yourself because it is very difficult for me to film content for you guys because of my puppy freya um she's six months old and she requires a lot of attention and she i have tried to put her little playpen in the room with me when I filmed and it has gone com completely terribly wrong because she wants to be on my lap she wants to lay on me she even if we're laying next to each other on the couch if she's not physically laying her 50 pound self on top of my body causing me problems on breathing she gets very upset and she throws a tantrum so I, do, I, don't, I don't know how to fix that um her and I have had a lot, lot of yard time playing outside. Uh, we go for walks. Um, I no longer drink coffee. I switch to tea, which I've noticed has made a huge impact on my brain. Um, I actually drank coffee two days ago and realized a horrible crash. And I was just like, and for two weeks, I was drinking tea every day in the morning and i felt great and then i drank coffee and i was just like i can't do this so i think i'm a tea drinker now guys um 
trying to think of what else i have obviously been working on june moon um which is definitely awesome because it really helps me in a way where i can express myself creatively and creating my recipes and just focusing on my brand drawing sketching like my logo my product um like promo whatever like just stuff for the brand itself it's really fun um and it's not really stressful because i take my time i do one category at a time so if you've been keeping up with june moon i started out doing candles and now i'm waiting for like official things to come in so i can start taking product shots for that instagram page um candles smell amazing i'm so excited um i just got my stuff for um lip products so like lip scrubs and lip balms i have um, I'm going to, after the lip products, I'm going to be working on full body care. So I have candles. I also have done bath soaks, which I think I posted on at Kale Barb, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, I think I did, but I can't remember if I took it down or not because something happened with my content where I like wrote something wrong um, and I have to redo it. I need to learn how to pay attention. Um, I've been reading a lot, uh, a lot of self-care books, um, watching Netflix, I watched Chilling Adventures of Sabrina again, I'm watching Gossip Girl again, um, American Horror Story Coven I'm watching over again, um, my husband and I just watched Jumanji 2, which was really good, if you haven't seen that and you're able to watch it, oh my god, it's so funny and I like it a lot, um, Chapter 2 It is on tv like for free if you're able to have those type of movies um i might finish watching that later today my husband however is um incredibly busy during this time so a lot of the time it's just Frey and i um which is good in a way because i feel like i can clean a lot i cook a lot um him and i have actually gone grocery shopping he does not like me leaving the house for anything since he's already out of the house the majority of the time for business work purposes he likes to actually get stuff for me so i don't have to risk putting myself out there but there was a point during this whole thing where i needed the air and i needed to be around people and honest to god my mental health was so bad at the grocery store you know seeing other people in masks being in a mask and it's just like i'm claustrophobic i'm severely claustrophobic so like the mask has a, it was really troubling for me um seeing people scared of other people to like get too close someone like coughed in their mask and like another woman freaked out like um you know i it's it's really terrible because we're so scared to be near each other and i know a lot of people who still are not taking this seriously uh seriously i know a lot of people who are still trying to not social distance themselves and it's really a shame because whether media is true or false to me it's just like i don't watch the news if I get any information on the coronavirus, it's either from my friend Crystal Teeny, who actually went viral on social media from her posts um, talking about QAnon. I'm not getting into any of that, that this is not a political based channel. However, I um, like I don't do conspiracy theories. I think they're interesting, but I feel like for my sanity, it's not healthy. Um, so I'm trying to do things that are more uplifting for me and thank goodness that I have a husband that's just like if make a list for me if we need eggs milk bread whatever I'll find I have gloss in my lip that's great um if we need stuff at home like even if I need shampoo he'll be like write down the shampoo the color of the bottle whatever just so he knows he gets the right one but he does not want me leaving the house because he's absolutely terrified i if you may not know i have from like previous videos i know we talked about this i have hyperthyroidism which isn't a really big like immune issue however it causes me to not be able to gain weight as fast as i'd like to 
also adding that my family, both my father and my mother's side, have all all of us have incredibly fast metabolisms. I'm 5'7", I'm 27 years old, and I'm about 110 pounds. I'm very little. I have been underweight pretty much this significant amount of my life. I think there was like two years out of my life where I wasn't, I was like average. Um, and after that, like stress ruins my, my weight. Um, my mental health ruins my weight. Sometimes I'm just not hungry. My my time of the month ruins it. The week before, I'm super hungry, and then the week of, I have no appetite. Like it's terrible. And that, like, literally in January, I was told to be careful if I get sick because of how underweight I am and how my body physically physically cannot handle stress that well. And it would be very difficult for me to get back to being normal and healthy. So I think that's why my husband is very, very, he's way more cautious. Like for me, I'm like, I feel like I'm superwoman. So I'm feel like I can go grocery shopping. I'll wear a mask. I'll wear gloves. I, I sanitize everything. I clean every day. Like I know what to do. And him, he still has that mindset where it's just, no, you stay home and I'll take care of it. And I'm grateful, but there is coming to a point where, like, thank goodness it's been somewhat sunny. I have harder days when it's really rainy because Frey and I both hate the rain. When it's sunny, her and I want to stay outside in the yard all day. Like, I have my hat. I have my SPF. This is the esthetician talking. Um, I just really want to enjoy the outside. And it's tough. Like, it's really tough. It's very, like, what do you do? should we do this like i miss seeing my grandparents like so much that is like the one thing that has really brought me down and i try not to think about it is i miss my grandparents so much and it's not like we hung out they live like 15 20 minutes away from me so even having freya especially since we got freya it's been very difficult to actually hang out with them because she was so little she wasn't potty trained now she's potty trained now she's a little bit better she still has a lot of energy she probably will for the rest of her life but she's still learning commands and like learning how to relax and calm down and and stay and wait and stuff like that so it's very difficult because my grandparents are in their 70s and i really don't want my 50 pound dog to be jumping on them and climbing on them and you know it's not something that i want but nonetheless so with that, with her growing up, and she was way more intense months ago, I didn't really get to spend that time with her, with them, because either she would have to be created in the house for an hour or two, she could only be created for like a little amount of time, even then I thought like an hour was long, and it's just like, it was difficult because I couldn't spend that time with them, and now I physically cannot hang out with them because I don't want to compromise them in any way, shape, or form. And it absolutely is dreadful. And it has shown me so much how important it is to really spend time with the people you love and never take it for granted and them for granted and life for granted and love for granted. Like, I have posted something on Bare Self Care that this has shown me to that if you love someone, love the sh out of them and and you know, just embrace them, embrace this. And one thing I have mentioned, I think before somewhere on social media, cause I have 15 million accounts, um, before I go and I'll leave this with you, is I know this is a very terrible and difficult time. And I know that a lot of people are seeing this 100% negatively. I'm not that, I'm not that type of person anymore. I don't like seeing anything in a negative aspect. I like to try and make things work. I like to see the light in dark things and in people and in situations, events, whatever. But with that being said, I personally am trying to figure out myself and get back to the things that I'm able to do now, like read, watch shows that I wasn't able to, spend time with Freya when I couldn't as much because at a, like right before this, I was working a little bit more and I was getting booked a little bit more and I was taking that time away from her where I can train her and take care of her and now we're like hip to hip. Like I'm surprised like she's not freaking out right now. 
um but it is also because i know she can hear my voice and but it's also like 7 30 in the morning so there's that but um like painting especially painting i have not done in a year and i'm able to do so so what i'm trying to say before i go is if you're able to find the little things whether it's like coloring or knitting or sewing or painting crafting anything that you need to catch up on or maybe learn something new read an intellectual book read a book that you've been wanting to read excuse me oh my gosh i just had like a air bubble in my chest um really focus on that type of stuff like decorate your house rearrange your house i know i've been doing that little bit here and there um and it's really helpful and it's really therapeutic because knowing that oh my gosh i can actually do this now because when this is all over i won't be able to do this as much i'm going to really str have to strict my time to because i'm going to miss painting and it just does something to me that's just like a veil of and I just want that for you. I want you guys to stay healthy, stay safe, stay well, and definitely keep me updated. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys have been doing. And of course, happy, I lost storage in my phone, or my camera. Hmm. Um, but as I was saying, have a great day or night, wherever you are in the world. I love you bears so much. Stay true to yourself. Do something different, do something new. Step out of your comfort zone stay inside make sure you have food and your essentials and try and be happy and stay positive as best as you can i love you so much and definitely keep me posted if you need me message me at bear underscore self care for anything even if it's just to talk to someone i am here for you always and i will see you in the next one